Chores. I'm a lifestyle educator here. Um, we are going to work today on our hips and a little bit around the muscles that goes all the way down around the knees. Um, so we'll particularly work on mobility and flexibility around the leg muscles. Um, you may need today a blanket um, or anything else soft that can protect your knees. And if you do have blocks, then go ahead and, and grab those as well. Um, you can use anything from your house reading, maybe a, like a bigger book or something like that um, if you don't have blocks. Remember always to modify any of the movements um, so that they fit your body and take whatever rest and breaks that you need. Today we're going to start in child's pose. So we'll bring the toes in together and the knees out nice and wide, pretty much as wide as the mat. Sit down over the heels and walk your hands up forward. And if comfortable, you can bring your forehead to the ground. If you feel a little um, claustrophobic in there, you can take a block and put it underneath your head to create a little more space. Allow your hips to be heavy, sink backwards over the heels. If you find that your hips are flying kind of high away from your heels, you can take a, a blanket, roll it up, and put it in between your heels and your hips. And as you breathe in, find length from your tailbone and all the way up through the crown of your head. Maybe even walk the fingertips a little further forward. And as you exhale, allow your hips and your upper body to sink a little heavier down towards the ground. Breathe in and feel length in your spine. And breathe out and sink a little deeper. Really feeling how those hips are lengthening back and over the heel, creating space in your hips. On your next breath in, you'll we'll slowly come up to a tabletop position. You can remove whatever support you had underneath you. We'll bring the hands right underneath the shoulders and the knees right underneath the hips. If you need to, you can bring this blanket, unfold it, and put it underneath your knees. On your next breath in, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your gaze, arching through your spine. And on your exhale, tuck your tailbone downwards, curl your spine, and look in and under. We'll do that one more time, and then we'll add on. Inhale, lift your tailbone, drop the stomach, lift your chest, lift your gaze. And on your exhale, press the mat away from you, curl through your spine. And we'll begin to create a few circles here. On your next breath in, lean forward. You can still find that arch through the spine. And on your exhale, send your hips up towards the right side and all the way back and over the heels, creating a circle. Inhale, come forward to the left side, all the way forward, maybe creating a little bit of an arch in the back. And on your exhale, come back up to the right side and all the way back over the heels. Inhale to the left and forward. And we'll switch direction here on your exhale, bring it to the left side and backwards. So what this does is that it lengthens the muscles that goes from the lower back and all the way down over the glutes and all the way down towards the legs, the back sides of your legs. And on your next breath in, we'll stay forward here. On your exhale, draw in your belly button, finding a little more core engagement. You can tuck the toes on the left foot, and on your next breath in, bring your right foot out behind you, nice and long. We'll bend the knee, kick the heel up towards the ceiling, and then begin to draw some circles with the knee. So it's like you're taking that thigh bone and making rotations inside the hip socket. Doesn't matter which direction you start, we'll do both ways. When you're taking a couple of circles in this direction, switch direction. Nice big circle. Some mobility into the hip joint. And on your next breath in, kick that foot straight out behind you again. And on your exhale, cross it over towards the left side. Your gaze is going to follow over the left shoulder and back towards that foot. As your foot is over towards the left side, you need to draw your hips over towards the right side. You're stretching and lengthening on the outside of your thigh and the outside of the right hand. Couple of deep breath as you hold. On your next breath in, come back up to center, lift the foot up, 
and on your exhale, drop it back down. Good, and if your wrist needs a little break, you can come backwards, just take the pressure off your wrist for a second, and then you can come back up. If your wrist is still feeling sensitive, it's okay to come up on the fist, or even take a couple of blocks underneath your hand. On your next breath in, we'll bring the left foot up behind you, finding that slight core engagement, and then flex the knee and kick the heel up towards the ceiling. From here, we'll draw those circles with the knee. Nice big circles. How does it feel inside that hip joint as you create these movements? Are there any movements along this circle that feels more stiff? or less smooth, and then take it the other way as well. And on your next breath in, we'll keep that foot straight out behind you. And on your exhale, bring the foot over towards the right side. Keep your toes curled and look over the right shoulder. So your foot is reaching towards the right side, but your hips are going to slightly move towards the left. It's a very subtle move. Feeling the length on the outer side of your left thigh and on the outer side of the hip. And on your next breath in, we'll bring that foot back to center and on your exhale, drop it down. Spread your fingers out nice and wide. You can, you can stay here in this tabletop or we'll bring it all the way up to downward facing dog, raising the hips up towards the ceiling. When you get up to downward facing dog, go ahead and paddle your feet a couple times. If your wrists are needing a break, then come back into child's pose. So what happens when we press one heel down at a time towards the floor is that we get that good stretch through the calf, the backside of the lower leg. And when you're ready for it, just take a moment of stillness right here. Both heels are guiding down towards the mat. They may not touch, that's okay. Your hip, your tailbone is moving up towards the ceiling. And it's okay to maintain a little bend in the knee so that your spine can stay long. But the more you guide the heels down, the more the back sides of your legs are going to stretch. On your next breath in, whether you are in table, top or downward facing dog, we'll lift the right foot up. And on your exhale, you're going to guide that foot all the way through in between your hands and top it. If it doesn't make it forward in one step, that's okay. Can use your hand and kind of guide it a little more forward and then drop the back knee to the floor. Again here, if that back knee is feeling sensitive, go ahead and take your blanket, unfold it, and put it underneath. Before we lift the upper body, make sure that the right knee stays right above the right ankle. On your next breath in, we'll bring the arms up and overhead and move a little bit backwards so we have more of a straight stack of your hips right over that back knee. Scoot your tailbone down towards the earth as you activate the lower abdomen. And from here, you can sink a little bit deeper down into the stretch. You'll start to feel the stretch on the front side of the head. Deep breath in, lift up. Deep breath out as your tailbone tucks downwards, you sink a little deeper. Take one more breath in here. And on your exhale, bring your hands back down to the floor. If you have your blocks, then go ahead and frame the front foot. Slowly begin to walk the blocks backwards as you straighten out the front leg. Lift your toes up towards your forehead so that this front leg stays pretty straight. If you're flexible enough, you can keep your hands on the floor or you can bring the blocks up at whatever level they need to be so that you can get a pretty straight leg here. Always be mindful of the knees so don't overstretch. Keep a really soft bend in that knee. We just want to get to the point where you feel the stretch on the back side of the leg. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your chest towards your toes, your tailbone towards the back of the mat. And on your exhale, so you can lean your chest a little further down. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. We'll move a couple of times through these two movements. On your next breath in, move forward. Just walk the blocks forward, sink your hips down, lift your chest. Find the stretch on the front side of the left. And on your exhale, walk your blocks backwards and slowly straighten out that front leg. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, come forward, lower your hips, lift your chest. Exhale, walk it back and straighten out the front leg. 
On your next breath in, we'll come back forward and we'll stay here. This time we'll walk the blocks to each side of your hips. Let's keep the right hand on the block. And on your next breath in, lift the left hand up towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, you'll reach it over towards the right side for a lateral bend of your spine. And then send it just a little bit backwards. You should feel a really nice stretch all the way from the front side of the thigh, up through the hip flexor, side body, up through the back side of your arm into your fingertips. Take another inhale. And on your exhale, we'll bring the hands back down. Slowly move the blocks back up to the top of the mat. Plant your hands. And we'll sweep that foot back into a tabletop. Remove the blanket if it's in the way. And if you felt good in downward facing dog, we'll come back up. Deep inhale. Exhale, grounding through the hands and Inhale and lift the left foot up, whether you are in tabletop or downward facing dog. Exhale, using your core strength, guide the knee forward, and then we'll step that foot between the hands. And from here, you drop the back. Again, if that foot didn't make it forward in one step, just go ahead and use your hand to slide it a little further forward. Stack the knee right above the ankle, and on your next breath in, bring your arms up. And send your hips a little bit backwards so that your hip stacks above that back knee. Tuck your tailbone down towards the earth. And then you can sink a little deeper down into the stretch. So the reason why we tuck that tailbone is so that we can still keep the lower spine nice and flat. You don't get any compression into the lower vertebrae. You should still feel a pretty intense stretch here on the front side of the hip. Take one more inhale. And on your exhale, come back down and bring the blocks in to frame the foot, whatever level feels good. Slowly walk the blocks backwards and straighten out the front leg, stretching into the hamstring, the back side of the leg. A fairly straight leg, just with a little soft bend in the knee to protect the joint. Inhale, guide your hips backwards, your chest forward. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. A moment to breathe nice and deep all the way down to where you feel the stretch. And we'll flow through those two a couple of times. Inhale, walk the blocks forward, lower the right hip down, lift your chest. Exhale, walk the blocks backwards, straighten out the front leg, lift your toes. One more time like that, inhale, walk forward, drop the right hip, lift your chest up. Exhale, walk the blocks back, and straighten out the front leg. Inhale and walk forward and stay here. And we'll bring the blocks backwards towards your hips. Keep the left hand on the block, and on a breath in, lift your right hand up towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, send it over towards the left side. And when you find that side body stretch, send it a little bit backwards, a slight back bend you feel that stretch all the way from the front side of the right thigh, the front side of the right hip, all the way up through the right side of your torso, back side of your right arm and up to your fingertips. Take another inhale, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, bring the hand down. Walk the blocks back out in front of you. Plant your hands and slide the left foot back into tabletop. Inhale, lift your tailbone, lift your gaze. Lift your chest. Exhale, tuck the tailbone in and under, curl your spine. Toes, toes come in to touch, knees out and open, and then sit back down into child's pose. Forehead to the ground, hands out in front. Take a nice deep inhalation all the way down into your hips. And as you exhale, release any tension that you may hold. Maybe you need to rock a little side to side. Get yourself more comfortable deeper into this child's pose. You're welcome to stay in that child's pose as long as you want. But whenever you are ready, just slowly walk your hands back in towards you. And then sweep your legs out in front of you into your seat. Thank you guys for joining me for our hip and knee practice. Namaste.